Hey guys, welcome to Share the Truth. I've had a little bit too much coffee today, but I am excited because today we are going to be listening to the deluxe songs off of Evermore. Um, I have been listening to this album all of the time. Like, I love this album. I have it on at night. I love having it on at night. One of my songs that I listen to all the time is Cowboy Like Me. I listen to that song all the time. I, I love it. I think it's so gorgeous. I, I, I'm like, are you going to stop listening to it? No, I'm not. Okay. But I wanted to go ahead and listen to the deluxe tracks because I hadn't listened to those yet. Um, she has two bonus tracks on this album and she just released them a couple days ago. Okay, so the first song is called Right Where You Left Me. I have the lyrics up right here. Whoa, she's going very fast as she's singing there. There's a lot that we heard. Friends break up, friends get married. Strangers get born, strangers get buried. Ugh, that's sad and also good. Uh, rumors fly through new skies, but I'm right where you left me. Um, I feel like she, let's just keep listening before I even come up with my own conclusion. I was saying there's a lot of repetition of you left me, you left me no. So there's some pain here. She's There's a lot of pain happening around the fact that this person left, left her and that she hasn't really gone anywhere. I'm getting kind of a hint of stagnancy. There's a dwelling on the fact that this person has remained stagnant. <laughs> Blaming this person. There's a lot of blame. They're, they're blaming this person for not going anywhere in their life. So she never really got over the fact that this person left her, this guy. That is, you'll be surprised how much a, a breakup can affect people. I mean, there's people that never get over it. And I think that this song is really highlighting that, how there's a lot of people that can pinpoint this one relationship or this one heartbreak that they just never got over. They're still stuck on it. And I feel like this is really capturing that. I like the fact that it has a bit of a country flair. We're definitely getting a little bit more of a twang on this song. So that's kind of cool. Dust collected on my pinned up here. That has a double meaning. If you think about dust, it collects when something hasn't moved that you haven't touched in a while. And she's using that as a way of referencing herself and how she hasn't hasn't moved. She hasn't changed. Oh, don't wait for him. Oh, 
my heart. Oh gosh. Wow. She's definitely using a lot of repetition in the writing to highlight how devastating it was that this person left her there. And not only this moment that this guy leaves her, she never really evolves from that point, which is really, really heartbreaking. And I just want to tell this person in this song to move on with your life and, and, and push forward past this, this breakup because you can see that she's she, she's fully aware of the fact that she hasn't changed and that in in the bottom of her heart there's still a sense of hope that this person is going to come back it's really highlighting how much this heartbreak and the fact that this person moved on affected this person so much that she wasn't willing to give her life a change she wasn't willing to move forward she kind of stayed in the same spot and there's a bit of resentment here that she's having towards this person. Like, you're the reason why I haven't changed. I This part here. Help, I'm still at the restaurant, still sitting in a corner I haunt. Cross-legged in the dim light. They say, what a sad sight. I, I stayed there, dust collected on my pinned up here. I'm sure you've got a wife out there, kids and Christmas, but I'm unaware because I'm right here where I cause no harm. Mind my own business. Oh, I'm sure a lot of people can relate to this song. Um, it's, it's something that I tried to push against in my life is not letting pain stop me from moving forward because I feel like there's a lot of fear in this song and there's a little bit of um, an awareness, pain, remorse, regret that she never really moved on with her life yet this guy obviously seemed to move on with his. Um, did you ever hear about the girl who got frozen? Time went on for everybody else. She won't know it. She's still 23 inside her fantasy. Yeah. It's being stuck, you know? This is so like, this is such like a, a foreshadowing of what can happen when you don't move on, when you don't take the time to heal and move on and give love and give life another chance. And very, very descriptive. Classic Taylor Swift writing. Uh, very fast paced. There was a really nice cadence throughout the entire song. Um, I'm gonna have to listen to it a couple more times to get the kind of the hook of the song, but I did really enjoy it. And I love the fact that it kind of has like a little bit of a twang to it and it was fun. It's time to go. Okay. Don't trigger me today. It's interesting. She, this is, this has a really nice structure to it. She's, she's repeating sometimes over and over again, and she's also repeating thing at the end over and over again. Sometimes giving up is the strong thing. Sometimes to run is the brave thing. Sometimes walking out is the one thing. Beginning with sometimes and ending with thing, but each line is kind of t a slightly different from the other. Begging till my knees bled. That reminds me of Tolerate It. Just, I gave it my all, he gave me nothing at all. Yep. You sure do. How 
That is true. She's speaking facts, y'all. That will find you the right thing. Yes, intuition. She's referencing a lot about intuition in this song. It's like you know in your heart when it's time to leave. You may want to cling on, but you get that familiar ache, you get that sensation in your body. And Taylor's writing this so great, it's so descriptive about how you get that sensation that you know it's time. And you know, this is something that's not really talked about a lot is how like it's okay to quit on stuff. You know, sometimes quitting is the best thing that you can do because you don't want to, and it's so funny because the last song is what, it's almost like a, a foreshadowing because that's what happens when you don't listen to your intuition and move forward. Just like in the last song, like that person got so stuck in her mindset of what she thought her life should be like that she never changed. She kind of stayed frozen. And I feel like this song is kind of a great compliment to the last song because it's kind of talking about how it's okay to quit. It's okay to give up that, um, that vision of what your life is going to be like. It's okay to let go of the heartbreak that you have and move on. And I feel like when she uses this repetition of sometimes in the beginning and thing at the end, it, it kind of is like a mantra like experience just hearing it because it's something that you really should remember and think about with your life. And it can be in relationships and goals and everything. You do know. Ooh, I like the guitar. production yeah oh I like it these are such nice bonus tracks these are so clean and I can definitely see why they were excluded from the album and it wasn't because of quality at all I really love both of those songs I'm not sure how they would have fit in Evermore I feel like it's almost like this could have ventured out into an its, its entire new album because both songs they kind of complement each other they're both talking about a series of decisions it's like but in the first song, the girl, she didn't move on. She kind of stayed stuck in this vision of what she thought her life could be. And she stayed stuck at 23. And in the second song, it's time to go. It's almost like, it's almost like the second song should have been talking to the first song because that song is talking about moving on, letting go, quitting, giving up of the vision that you may have in your life and starting over, starting new. Um, but in the outro, there's a lot of repetition as well. She also, and you know in your soul and you know in your soul when it's time to go, you know, you know, you know. That is such a powerful thing when you're repeating those types of stuff because it's, you kind of have to convince yourself to listen to your intuition. And that is so powerful. It's like, you know when it's time to go. And you have to almost convince yourself. So when I hear her repeating, you know, you know, you know, it kind of just reminds me of the hesitation that we sometimes have to listen to our intuition because sometimes listening to our intuition can be really, really painful. And I like that she really emphasized that. And I just love this line about the old familiar body ache. It's like if you've ever gone through an experience where you have to let go of something, you know that feeling. Your body can remember how it feels like to know something's off and know that your heart is about to 
be broken and you're going to have to go through some kind of painful cathartic experience of moving forward and she, like I said the song is just really really descriptive and beautiful <laughs> anyway tell me what these songs mean to you I would love to know you guys' perspective um and what 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 you got from these songs what your favorite is of the two um so far I think I like it's time to go better and definitely subscribe for more content because I am going to do a Evermore review video very, very soon, probably this week. Also, we're getting more reaction videos. A lot of you guys have been commenting kind of the similar type of stuff. So those are coming and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.